Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to set minimum and maximum price limits in Amazon Seller Central. If you receive an email pricing alert from Amazon telling you that an ASIN has been blocked because of a pricing issue, then you must confirm your offer price by setting a minimum price and a maximum price for that ASIN before you can release the ASIN from the block. Setting a minimum and maximum price limits is a way to set your upper and lower sale price limits so that if you make an error in your pricing, Amazon will disable the listing and alert you of a potential pricing error. Some sellers will use this to document their product cost or set their minimum to ensure profit so that they can easily reprice later without having to review their costs. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The first thing that you need to do is to log into your Seller Central account. That's sellercentral.amazon.com. Once you're in, hover your mouse to the pricing tab, then select manage pricing on the drop down. You will then reach the manage pricing page. The Manage Pricing page allows you to update prices on any active listings, either one by one or in batches. It includes columns most commonly used for making price updates. As you can see, you still can't set up any minimum or maximum prices. To do that, click the Preferences button located on the upper right part of the page. Put a check mark on your minimum price and your maximum price. Then scroll down to the bottom and click the Save Changes button. You should now see two new columns. This is where you will set your minimum and maximum price. Just change the price in the field and either click the Save or Save All button on the right. If you set a minimum or maximum price, and if the price moves outside of the range, then listing is removed and you get a warning notification. These are all recorded in your notifications messages. If you use it to try and manage lowest price matching, likely you will end up with no listing active until you correct it. And that, ladies and gents, are the steps on how to set minimum and maximum price limits on Amazon Seller Central. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon.